Our final section on uh, stakeholders looks at criteria 3.4. This is to analyse the impact of being accountable to stakeholders and external bodies on curriculum design, delivery and assessment in own area of practice. So as we have found, there are many benefits uh, to working in collaboration with stakeholders. And what this question is looking at is whether or not uh, any of your stakeholders have impacted on any of your curriculum design and also delivery. So we're thinking for this assignment question, um, have uh, learners, for example, provided you with, with feedback, perhaps at the end of a course or the end of perhaps an academic year, where you have had to change your teaching style and also delivery as well. So, of course, it could be uh, learner feedback. It could be feedback from, uh, for example, parents or governors or even colleagues as well. So we're thinking about, of course, your teaching style, but also think about the curriculum as well. So through working with, uh, for example, companies, they may have uh, days where your learners perhaps go off and have uh, a trip to perhaps uh, a business or company, and that impacts perhaps on your, your scheme of work. And you have to perhaps change the format of lessons to accommodate uh, for any work experience dates here. So we're thinking whether uh, stakeholders have perhaps changed or impacted on any uh, planning or, or teaching aspects as well. Okay, so it could be perhaps a minor change or quite a large change here as well. So we're thinking of those, those different impacts. In terms of a word count, once again, we're looking for between three to 500 words. And we'd like for you perhaps to, to reflect on one or two changes here, uh, regardless of the, uh, the stakeholder. So aim for one to two changes and once again, do have a look at textbook pages 110 to 116.